All right, so I was on Amazon and I saw this cooler and it's from the company called Cooler Guys. This is a 1U active vapor cooler and it's for the 1700 socket. It is specifically only for that socket and it's a 180 watt CPU cooler as you can see. Now you're probably wondering, um, isn't that for a server? And uh, I believe so. I believe this is for a server. Something else you might be wondering is if this thing is, is gonna sound like a jet engine and it is probably gonna sound like a jet engine. If it's meant for a server, then it's not gonna be the quietest thing ever. This is what the cooler looks like. Wow, that is metal, not plastic. And comes with pre-applied thermal compound. Get the two little brackets. It's plastic on this side. Metal on this. Right. But let's have a good look at this. That is thermal compound, I believe. That's copper. There's a fan in there. Now I'm gonna be using this cooler on a 13700KF CPU and seeing if it is actually able to cool it down. If it's not, my PC burns down because this thing can't cool it and it should be fine. I'll just use my laptop to edit the video and upload it. All right, this is probably gonna be one of my last videos of the year. I did have a bunch of other videos planned, but the NVMe where I had all my videos stored just died out on me. I'm done crying now, so I'm gonna make this video. All right, well, let me go get my PC so we can install this. All right, here's my motherboard. These two brackets go under. I am hoping that the way I'm setting this up is correct. Uh, it probably isn't. Someone's probably gonna be mad at me. The cooler didn't come with any instructions. There, like a pro, you know? Modern problems require modern solutions. Now for the cooler, and this is airflow that way. And this is the back of my case where the, this is. Place this here. Thermal compound seems kind of dry though. And of course, a way to check if this is all secure, you should be able to pull it up holding on to this, even though you shouldn't do that too much. You don't want to damage the, the PC. And I believe this little switch right here is for the CPU fan. And I don't really care about anything else here. We're just testing this out. Better results, great. Worse results, I get enough to cooler. Time to put my PC back together for the 400 time today. Oh, something else I should mention is that the company also makes a uh, the same company that makes this cooler also makes these fans. So these are just the typical uh, three pin fans. The thing is that these fans, they perform similar to these Arctic fans that I have right here, but they're like $5 more expensive. I would probably not go with these fans because of the pricing. You can get something similar or as this one at a much cheaper price. But these are rather quiet. They're similar to these Arctic ones that I have right here on the side, but the price is just I don't know, it doesn't seem really worth it to me. Okay, let's turn on the PC and uh, let's see those temperatures. Look at those idle temperatures. You can see that the GPU is still pretty low temperature. Temperature on this thing seems to just skyrocket and then that thing really takes off. I'm really concerned now. <laughs> wow. I'm wondering whether is it the cooler I installed or is it thermal compound that came pre-applied that's not good. That thermal compound seemed kind of dry. These temperatures are a bit too high. Um, I don't know about trying anything. So this thing is 10 degrees higher in temperature compared to any other cooler I have actually tried on this. So the temperature that you see right now is similar to the temperature I would get while doing a gaming by using Force of 4. Uh, it got to between 40 and 45 degrees Celsius and uh, yeah so the temperature I got while gaming is the same temperature this one gets while idle I cannot say that I recommend this cooler 
since you know it gets way too hot maybe that's why server cpus do a lot of rendering i really wonder how this thing would actually go let's uh go to youtube and uh let's watch the videos from one of the best youtubers of all time you know The cooler itself is warm to the touch. It's not hot, it's just a little bit warm. And it's, it's the one making all that noise. The fans on my GPU, they're all turned off. These fans, uh, so the fans on the front here are actually blowing full blast because this thing is not, not able to cool the CPU down properly. This cooler I would probably recommend for an i3 or an i5. There is no way this thing is going to be able to do uh, what's it called 4K rendering on an i7. Right now it's blowing air towards this thing right here. Let me actually change it so that instead of blowing air this way, it's blowing it up. Because up I have a... There's an open vent up here. And this one is just blowing it into this thing. Ow. So it's just blowing it into this thing right here. And this I believe has fans blowing this way. So maybe this is the issue. Well, let me just change the direction of the fans. The Cool Guys logo will be sideways, but we might get better performance. Now the cooler is sideways, it's blowing up to the top as you can see. Let's go for round two. Hmm. Not as loud as it was before. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Alright, so, uh... Nothing's changed. Looks still the same to me pretty much. So that didn't change anything. Honestly, based on the idle temperatures, I am not gonna do any sort of test on this thing. I mean, just look, 1% usage. I'm gonna try changing the position of that, uh, the cooler one more time, the direction is blowing air to see if that improves, it improves it. And then we'll go over from there. All right, so last direction, I'm gonna have, uh, this cooler facing is gonna be down because uh, well, it's gonna be hitting the, the graphics card, but it has good, uh, it has a good what's it called warranty on it, so it should be fine. You know, it's an EVGA graphics card. I can't put it against the RAM because there's bare, there, there's no space on between here, as you can see, no space, but there's at least some some sort of space here. So we're gonna try that, and uh, that's gonna be the end of the video. I'm gonna give him final results. But as of now, I can't really recommend you use this cooler on your regular PC. I mean, the reasons are obvious. Temperatures are way too high. Maybe if you have an i3 processor, maybe you can you can use this cooler. All right. It is now blowing airs down. Let's go for round three. And the temperature seems to be about the same. I believe that my CPU is meant to be a 253 watt CPU. Though I think it's limited by the motherboard though. I think that only the, the what's it called, that, that set 790 uh, is able to do more than that. This one, I think it's only able to do 125. And the cooler the, is supposed to be 180. I could be wrong about this though. But yeah. All right, so air around now. You know, since it's not enclosed in my case, let's see if it does any better. Oh, look at that. They were right. Temperature dropped to 36, 37 degrees Celsius. Uh, sometimes. But yeah, I seem to have gotten better temperatures. It's probably due to my case not having any frontal airflow. But even far off, like, like uh, three, four feet away from it, I can still feel some of the, the air that's coming from. But yeah, you can actually get decent temperatures with this thing. If you have a good airflow case or you plan on keeping it open like this i would personally not keep it open like this because i'm probably gonna drop coffee on it and you know that's gonna be one exp you know like that one dollar coffee is gonna cost you a thousand dollars but everything else seems to be cool hmm. all right so i'm running this benchmark right now to see how the cpu temperature is held up um, as you can see, the CPU temperatures are okay, actually. Right now, it's running this benchmark at 1080p high. 
So that's where you see the higher frame rate. I am using a 3070 though. So that's probably why this uh, benchmark is running pretty good. Of course, you can see that there's really any usage of the actual CPU. Most of it is being done by the, the graphics card. Temperature seems to be steadily rising. Temperatures are staying between 45 uh, and 52 degrees Celsius. So I, I'd like to say that that's pretty good. You know what, let's uh, change up the quality of this to uh, Ultra. Now, I don't know why my mouse is freaking out. Temperatures are good. Not really going into the 50s or 60s for too long. It blows like a jet engine, but it sure keeps the CPU at a good temperature. Oh wait, now that it's doing night, it seems to be struggling more. I'm pretty sure that no one's gonna want to place this cooler inside their PC, even though it's decent, but Considering the noise it makes, no one's probably going to consider it. Alright, uh, seeing how I received better temperatures like this, I decided to try out uh, Cinnamon. This might seem like a bad idea, but uh, let's see. Starting... 100 degrees. Yeah, I'm not going to go through with it. That took half a second to get to 100 degrees Celsius. The wind, you know, I can feel the wind blowing from this little cooler all over the place. Well, that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.